Right, this is the second time I'm going to do this. The Strike Force show that was on this weekend. I'm not going to talk so much about fight by fight by fight. I want to talk about the show overall. One of the things that baffled me when it started, when the card was announced, was, well, where are the names? The only name that was around that I think casual fans and people who probably just heard of the UFC knew would be uh, Dan Henderson. That was the only name. Um, and I thought that was one of the problems with the card. Um, they needed some names. They needed some guys that could draw ratings and a bit more of an audience because it's a CBS show. And CBS, they're going to want a nice number. They're going to want a big number. And that's why I think you needed someone like a Bobby Lashley or an Andre Arlovsky or even a Kung Lee who are somewhat well-known. And there wasn't anybody really of that kind of level, or even Herschel Walker. There wasn't anybody of that kind of name that was on the card, which kind of hurt the card, I thought, because I don't feel, and this is my honest opinion, enough people know who Melendez and Aoki are. I think probably less people knew who Aoki was. They're probably a, a bit familiar with Melendez. Um, the Mola War and Jega Musasi one too. I mean... I think some people are starting to know who Mo Lawal is. Uh, people have heard of Musasi, but their names aren't big enough in terms of drawing and getting people to tune in. It would have been so much more beneficial if they had someone like uh, Arlovsky or Lashley, because they're well known. People know their names, people know their faces. Another thing was, you had three... And actually, another thing, where was Gina Carano? I mean, she's a star. People will tune in to see her. And they need of that. They need people to tune in. Um, the other thing was some of the fights that they put on. And this is not saying that any of the fights were bad, but or how it was structured. My thing was you had three championship fights. Uh, the problem with having three championship fights is they all went to five rounds. And now people are going to go, oh, why are you complaining for? They were long drawn out fights. They all went to decision, and the problem with having decision, decision, decision is that I think it can kind of bore fans after a while, and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way. I honestly mean what they should have done or could have done is have... See, I would have had Scott Smith fight on that card. Number one, he has momentum, considering he just knocked out Kung Lee. And number two, you can almost guarantee he's going to have an exciting fight. You needed exciting fights, and you needed guys that would draw. And I don't think that was the card that was going to do it. For a CBS show, I was surprised. And even where was Fedor Emelianko? Uh, apparently, well, there's rumours about Fedor anyway, about where he might wind up. And uh, his actual contract, uh, that's in dispute. So, I mean, overall, the show was okay. In the end, we had that incident with Jason Miller and uh, Jake Shields. It was entertaining for me to see it. But was it needed to, did it need to happen? No. Uh, in a way, you can argue it makes the sport look bad. You know, people already have, people who aren't familiar with MMA already have this preconceived notion that MMA is, uh, you know, human cockfighting and just a bunch of thugs as opposed to actually being a sport. And perhaps you can say in that respect that what went on with Jason Miller and Jake Shields reinforce that relief that some people have on the other hand i don't know it depending on how scott's coca and management and strike force handle it it can actually benefit them but we don't know it, it, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle it um one of the interesting things was there was a contracted ufc fighter getting involved and uh, nate diaz who's really given some kicks to jason miller and obviously Nick Diaz, and that's no surprise there. They always get into little scuffles. Um, Jason Miller didn't need to do that. He didn't need to show up, to be honest with you. If he was going to call him out, then it would have been better off waiting until the press conference and then doing it then. Funnily enough, in a weird way, it kind of did save the show because that's the thing that everyone is talking about. And if you go on Google search, apparently the day after that happened, Jake Shields, Jason Miller, and Dan Henderson were the three high search names on the Google search, I think, for that weekend, and on Twitter too. And everyone's been talking about it. In fact, I've been asked about it since I've been out of house. 
Oh, did you see that little thing that happened on um, Strike Force? So it's a strange thing. It's like a how can I say? It? It's kind of bittersweet. On the one hand, people are talking about Strike Force, but they're talking about them for the wrong reasons. And what's even more interesting is we don't know if Jake Shields is going to stay with Strike Force. That was the last fight in his contract. He has a lot of momentum now to call his own shots. Where does he go? Who does he go with? For money, all of that. I mean, he can now probably go to the UFC, which is more than likely. Uh, Dana could probably offer him a huge contract. Then there's the proposed fight with George St. Pierre, which I know some people want to see. And that's money for Jake Shields. Um, or he could negotiate a higher deal with Strike Force and maybe get a, a contract with Dream, so have a working agreement and earn money that way. Um, so who knows what's going to happen? I think the CBS actually, and this is another thing, I think CBS needed to do more to help promote Strike Force and Showtime. Uh, you know, having one minute vignettes, Saturday night fights isn't going to do it. When you want the whole world to see it, you need to build up anticipation. UFC do a tremendous job with their countdown specials and their prime time specials when it comes to building up fights. And maybe CBS, which is a big station, need to do something like that for Showtime, for Strike Force, sorry, with their next set of fights. Um, anyways, that's kind of all I really wanted to say. It's a bit rambled, unfortunately, but uh, let me know what you think. Did anyone enjoy the show? Did anyone think that that was the perfect card to put out there? Uh, do you think that for the next CBS show they need bigger fights and bigger names? And do you think the promotion itself, the way they promote, is effective enough? Anyways guys, let me know and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.